What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Azure location and inventory review for the weekend of May 24th to the 27th and so let's get started. And first things first, Zur is going to be located in the Tower Hangar. All right, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for the exotics, the Prometheus lens, it's an okay trace rifle. Uh, then we have the Shinobu's Vow here with 64, a little bit, honestly, not the worst roll. Like you got your discipline, recovery, resilience, and remember, they are actually buffing skip grenades. I think they're like increasing the PVE damage by 20% in the final shape. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Eternal Warrior, not a good roll. 65 is okay, but way too much mobility for the Titan. Then we've got the Skull of Dire Ahamkara, 64, Resilience, Discipline, Intellect, but no, reco no recovery on the Warlock. Mid, very mid, right? Now, as for the weaponry, well, we have a, uh, the Scave Lock with Subsistence, Sympathetic, nope. We have a Callous Mini Tool with Unrelenting Eye, uh, terrible roll. However, remember, with this and with uh, the next SMG as well, you are going to be able to buy this and use your Deep Sight Harmonizer to unlock pattern progress for stuff like the Callus Mutual because it is craftable or was craftable at one point in time. Keep in mind though that you may want to save uh, those Deep Sight Harmonizers. You can access them, them from the previous season on Bungie.net for the final shape. Anyways, that whole spiel aside, we then have an Aquilos with Killer Wind Pugilist. Nope. We have a Scocastic Variable here with, it doesn't even have Phase Meg, not interested. We have the Nezerax Whisper with Genesis Tournament. Oh, these, these rolls, man. Uh, Memory Interdict with Impulse Danger Zone. Nope. And then we have a Turnabout. Ta these are, okay. This might be like the world record worst rolls I've ever seen. Like, these are, these are something, dude. Oh my god. Okay, I will say, uh, Callus Mutual, technically craftable. Aquilos, technically craftable. I think the Whisper as well, maybe uh, craftable. And then the Retrofit, definitely craftable. So just keep that in mind in terms of the whole uh, Deep Sea Harmonizer stuff. Now, as for the weapon on the back, well, we do have a, an Eye of the Storm Hawk Moon. Eye of the Storm is actually quite good, right? Really good dueling perk. And Arrowhead Break, though, is really not what you necessarily want here. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen way, I've seen way better Hawk Moons. Now, as for the armor, all right. Um, first off, let's check the rarity of the set on Light.gg because I totally didn't forget to do this, and I'm editing it in now. But whatever. So this set was introduced all the way back in season eight and it's a very common set with over 45% of guardians having access to this very helmet. Now as for the stats, 64 here, massive strength, massive recovery, a little bit too much mobility, it's kind of okay. 65, uh, not really too spiky to be honest. Uh, whoa, 68, extremely high massive recovery spike. You got discipline, int a little bit of intellect and strength as well. You know, this would be a way, 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 way better piece for the Warlock for sure. But, you know, if you need some recovery on your Titan, you're dying a little too much, you need a little bit more health regen, this is a great pickup. Uh, 68 is incredible roll here. Uh, then we have 63, not really too spiky at all. Let's go ahead and check the Warlock. All right, for the Warlock, first of all, guys, quick reminder, uh, buy these. Your legendary shards are going away in the final shape. You know, there's, there's no nothing else you're going to spend it on, right? So, might as well. Now, uh, for the gauntlet here, 63, too much mobility, no thank you. 64, ton of intellect. You know, if you, you want your super back, maybe, otherwise, eh. Um, 61, just not really that amazing. And then 61, way too much mobility. Let's go to the hunter. Wait, this is actually really good. All right, for the hunter, last chance to have some decent stuff here. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunate the main spike is intellect. However, 67, definitely on the high end. We got mobility, we got recovery, a little bit of discipline. You know, having a little bit of intellect isn't the worst, especially because the gains are much more noticeable at the beginning. Like you're gonna get your super a lot faster if you have, you know, three intellect as opposed to zero. But keeping that in mind, let's go to the next one. All right, 66 as well. This time with a recovery spike, we've got, you know, everything 
else but mobility. You know, again, this would have been better on the Warlock, but it's still a pretty darn good piece. And then, dude, okay, 66, massive discipline. Now you got recovery, resilience, mobility, everything other than intellect and strength. This is a banger piece for the Hunter right here. Like, this is crazy. 67, totally usable. 66, good, I would even say. 66, amazing. I really want to see these legs here. Come on. Again, with the 66, massive recovery this time. Again, you got intellect, strength, a little bit of mobility. This is, this is still a good piece. Now, it's not as good as this helmet. This helmet is unreal. Like, this is a very, very good helmet, but like, Every single other piece being 66, being somewhat re like relevant spikes here. Like, damn, dude, this is the Hunter weekend. This is crazy. Um, aside from that, guys, that is going to be it. Um, a great weekend for crafting stuff with deep side harmonizers. Otherwise, don't bother. Everything else is crap. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative. And if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content, so much this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.